According to most teachers and students, it was an unpleasant experience and they had to grapple with the challenges posed by the blackout. They were actually stranded. And per my checks, the school owes ECG in excess of 400,000 Ghana cities. And in a meeting with GES and management, it was revealed that some 5 million cities was paid to ECG to offset the debt of some second cycle institutions. And so some questions I want answers to are what institutions were these you know monies paid to offset their bills and also whether or not the Accra Academy was part of that. PrEP was boycotted yesterday as a result of the disconnection but the good news now is that power has been restored leading to the full resumption of educational activities right here on campus. I want to thank you so much for any role that you played together with my management and then our big men up there to ensure that power is restored. Mm -hmm. And by 11 a.m. this morning, power has been restored. Black this is the first time I have experienced this. It's, it's bad to put the school's name out there in this situation. Mm -hmm. Look at the number of schools, over 700 second cycle institutions in Ghana, and then your name is out there that you owe this amount you haven't paid, which is not fault of yours. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's bad. Well, we have an exclusive interview with one of the teachers here who has been teaching for the past 13 years, but he spoke on anonymity. You have a bungalow here, and um, you're on prepaid, but your lights were also off, cut off. That, that makes it more difficult for me to explain. Even if you will not listen to us, and you still want to take off from the uh, national grid, what about we, the teachers, who are on prepaid and servicing our bills? Yeah. We thank God now they have restored power. Because now the fish or whatever they have in the fridge, if it has continued, mm -hmm. maybe to the evening, yeah. all those things that they have in the fridge will go mm -hmm. bad. The electricity company of Ghana is on a massive disconnection exercise to recover some 5.7 billion cities from its debtors. As of May last year, a little over 3 billion cities was recovered and according to the external communications manager of EC Jilela Abubakari, this whole move to disconnect you know Accra Academy from the national grid is a normal routine as part of their mobilization drive and of course some public and private institutions have been affected they were taken off the grid they did some payments and they were reconnected we'll surely keep up on this very issue and update you in our subsequent bulletins Josh Quinn TV3 News Accra Academy